somebody approached me the other day and was asking if he could save uh, both the current version and previous versions of a file so that he could go back and um, look at previous versions. Now that um, got me thinking and so what I've done here is I this is a common thing that I do for for my um, contracts in inventory. So this is what I call a transaction record and it basically tells you um, when things come in, it tells you how many you have on hand, and then it tells you when, you, when it goes out. Now, um, what I, um, so this, it's always changing. So you have more products in every day, you have more products being sold every day, and you have the sell date and, and everything else going along with it. And so obviously you'd like to keep a track of what it looks like today, but possibly you would like to go back you know, a couple of weeks and see what happened then. And so what I've done is I wrote a little code. Now, I have installed a button. Everybody asks me how I do the buttons. And basically I go to the developer tab and I go to insert. And um, and then I, I draw a button and then it's gonna ask me what I wanna, so let me do another one here. And then it asks me what, I want to link it to and I'm saying save two versions and so what I can do here is I could go and delete the word button out of here and say save okay so now I have got two folders on my desktop. I've got demo and demo one, and I have um, the files, the files saved in both of those. And so let me go through the code. Um, we'll just F8 through it and you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, and so what we're doing with this code is we're, it's called save as two versions, dim path and path one as a string. And I'm saying, um, And I'm saying um, path, they're, they're both my desktop, and one, the path is to my file called demo, and path one is to my file called demo one. So the file name is going to be transactions. And so what I do, first of all, is I say application display alerts equals false. Now, there's a bunch of things on this workbook normally, and but I only want to have a copy of the transaction. So I say worksheets transactions copy. Now, this, this becomes our active workbook, not, that, not the workbook that we're having, but this copy version. So now I'm going to say active workbook, save as file name. And so this is my path, my ordinary to demo. It's going to save file name and then um, as XLS. Um, now, for the other one, I say if the directory, so in path one and file name, if it already exists, then um, if, it's, if it's not blank, then what you're going to do is save it as active workbook, save as file name, path or file path one, file name one, and then we put the date on it. So you can tell you what day this format was saved. So if you're looking for a particular day, you can see when things are sold or anything else. And so if, if it's the first time, um, you, you just save it as you save it in the other one, a similar, similar way with path one and file one. And now I go application display alerts, equals true because I've turned I, I've turned off um, the display alerts equals false so you, you don't have any warnings coming up and then I turn it back on here and then if I had to skip ahead I do application close and save so we don't have the the copy version hanging out in the world and so application display alerts equals true and then end sub so let's just F8 through this Okay, so there is, um, there's my copy it has been made. So it's book four. And so now then it's going to go through and go um, F8. Uh, it's going to go through and say check it's there. And it already is there because I've saved it once. And so now it's going to put the date on it. And then after it's done that, it's going to go to ND. So it's going to close the uh, open file and it's going to display alerts true. Okay. Now, so let's go look at my um, my two files here. 
So I have my demo. And my demo, the file name is always the same, and I just keep overwriting it. Uh, this is the time I'm doing it, and this is being overwritten every time. So now let's open up demo one. And so then there we have transactions April 30th, which is today, and I put the date on it so that you can see when this one was saved, so that you can look back for a previous version if you need to find it. And so just to prove that my um, my button works, since I showed you how to use it. So there we go, we had our new file make. And so now the last one, I can't remember the exact minutes on it for the demo, but this is, this is another version and this is gonna be the same date because this is the same date, but so would, on a different date, you'd have a new date up there. I will include, I will include the code in the description of my video Please subscribe.